Hey everyone, Rat Benatar here from the All Rats team, part of the Third Web community. And today, we're talking about how to add a Connect Wallet button to your website. If you're looking to bring people to your website to mint your NFT drop, or even let them utilize pieces of yours that they already own, they won't get very far unless they can connect their wallet easily. And that's where Third Web's Connect Wallet button comes in, making it easier and safer for users to interact with the websites and brands that they love. As always, if you enjoy this content, please be sure to give the video a like, subscribe to our channel, and share it with a friend who may enjoy it. Now, the significance of a connect wallet button on a website cannot be overstated. It's great for both the platform that's implementing it onto their website, and it's great for the end user. From the platform's perspective, it allows them to control the user experience based on what tokens the end user holds. And from the end user's perspective, it allows them to connect and disconnect to websites that they trust at any point with just a few clicks. No more generating new usernames and passwords, and no more sacrificing personally identifiable data blindly at each signup. But as this concept is still fairly new, a lot of platforms are still trying to figure out the best approach. And so some websites that you may visit might only support a single wallet provider, while others don't always make it clear where the user should go after connecting. So let's take a look at how ThirdWeb is solving both of these problems with our Connect Wallet button. Take this friendly NFT project, the Nutleys, as an example. When you visit the Nutleys.io, you'll notice that the team has done a great job of highlighting the Connect Wallet button. When I click Connect, the first thing I notice is the power of choice. I can connect with MetaMask, Coinbase Wallet, or even Wallet Connect, which is a protocol that all in itself offers a large variety of options. Most notably, I can even connect with extra confidence through my Ledger hardware wallet. Now, regardless of what I choose, I'm immediately presented then with the option to mint my Nutley's NFT, or I can even view my inventory from this project so I can see what I've already minted. As a new holder, this gives me a lot of confidence in the team because they've made it so easy to connect and mint on their website. So let's get set up to put this on our own website. Now, while I'm setting up my development environment here, please know that all the detailed instructions and code examples that you need are covered in the documentation section of our website. I've gone ahead and linked everything up in the description of the video. We're going to set up our Connect Wallet button with the help of our full demo repository that we have on GitHub, as well as the code examples. Once you've installed the necessary package, you just need to set up the third web provider that provides all the context consumed by your app. With this context, you'll have a standard Web3 provider that you can use throughout your app. Setting up this context is as easy as wrapping your app with the following setup as pictured here. And currently, we provide you with hooks to easily integrate Web3 into your app and set up an app-wide context without having to deal with the complexity of lower level Web3 configuration. Okay, now I'm all set. I've gone ahead and done some very light styling for my local development just so that you can see what this looks like. So I'm going to run this locally and you can now see that even if you're a novice developer, just a few simple steps will bring wallet connectivity to your web app. This can help with any fun interactions that you wanna provide on your website, specifically for existing token holders or even just potential buyers of your NFT project. Alternatively, if you want to take more of the direction that the Nutleys did on their website, consider using the embed code for your specific NFT drop that can be found in your third web dashboard. And that's all there is to it. Now we think that this concept is particularly helpful for both beginners trying to learn how to add their first wallet connect button to their new website, and also for more advanced web developers who want to do things like token gate functionality on their website. I assure you that your users will appreciate the ease of connection and the variety of wallet providers that ThirdWeb allows you to offer. If you have any ideas that we didn't cover, or if you just have any questions about the content, please just share with us down below. We would love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.